Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video we shall see Kronecker's theorem which states the existence of an extension field for any given field. So uh, let us first see a particular case when the given polynomial is an irreducible polynomial in the integer ring, ring f of x. They are saying if we assume px to be an irreducible polynomial then there exists an extension e of f in which this polynomial has a root. So it clearly states the existence of extension for any irreducible polynomial. What does it mean? It means that if you have any irreducible polynomial, suppose this is the polynomial, right, in Rx, then they are saying this polynomial has a root in some extension of R. This is guaranteed by this theorem. So let us have a look at the proof. The proof is really simple. It is given to us that this polynomial is an irreducible polynomial. Thus we know the ideal which is generated by any irreducible polynomial that is a maximal ideal. Moreover, if you have this integer ring and if you divide that by the maximal ideal, you will get the quotient ring equal to the equal to the field. So this quantity, let us denote this by E, this is equal to f of x divided by the maximal ideal generated by an irreducible polynomial. So this result, uh, this uh, we know and this E, this is a field. Now for a polynomial Px, irreducible polynomial Px, we have created a field E, right? So now we need to suggest that this is an extension field for the field F. Moreover, next step is to prove that this field has a root of Px in it. So let us first prove that this is an extension. So for that we can define a mapping sigma from the given field F to the extended field that we have just created and we can define this by uh, taking any element A from F and then we can define sigma of a to be the coset of this element. That means uh, how can we write the coset for what kind of elements this field may contain. It may have the same element in f and uh, which is being added to the ideal. So this is the embedding of f into e. Why? You, you may check that this sigma this is 1 1 moreover this is homomorphism. This is really simple to prove and we can do it using the properties for cosets and ideals. So uh, in the last video we saw that uh, if we have an embedding from a field F to field E then this field E is regarded as an extension for the field F. So one part is done. We have shown that this is an extension for the field F. Next is to show that this polynomial Px has a root in the extension field E. So for that we assume our polynomial to have this form say a0 plus a1x plus up to an x raised to power n. So that means it is a degree n and all these coefficients they come from the field F. So we have to tell that this polynomial has a root in E. For that we take an element x in F, the associated element uh, in E that is given by this map mapping and that is uh, we can take this to be the coset of x. So we'll check what is the value of this polynomial when you replace this x with its coset. So let us check what is p of x bar so p of x bar is simply this quantity x plus the uh, ideal generated by px. So you could replace in this polynomial wherever x is appearing by x plus the ideal generated by px. So we have this and this. So now using the properties for ideal you can have this thing and then you can collect these terms. And so what is this basically? This is again p of x. So you can replace this by p of x. So ultimately you see that uh, when you uh, that p of x bar that comes out to be 0. So x bar 
which was an element of this extension field E is now a re root of the irreducible polynomial which was there in f of x. So the result is true. Whenever you have any irreducible polynomial in sub in uh, polynomial ring, then we can say that there exists an extension there exists an extension field of that field in which that particular polynomial has a root. So this problem which from which we had started this uh, subject has been solved by this theorem and uh, the more general result of this theorem is given by Kronecker's theorem. So what does this theorem say? This theorem states the same result but it is valid now for any non-constant polynomial. It does not have to be a irreducible polynomial. So the, the theorem says if fx belongs to capital F of x be any non-constant polynomial, it should not be a constant, then there exists an extension field E of f in which this polynomial has a root. So for every polynomial, we have some kind of extension E such that in that extension, that polynomial has a root. So this is very useful theorem. So, and its proof is simpler than the statement. So let us see the proof. So let us assume we have some non-constant polynomial. So there are two possible cases. One possible case is that this polynomial, this has a root in f of x or it doesn't has a, has a root in f, right? So in first case, we assume this has a root in f. Then there is no point of looking for any extension of e. Why? Because the extension of f is f itself. So uh, in which this polynomial has a root. So this part has been proved trivially. For the second case, we assume that the polynomial, this does not has a root in f. Now, if it does not has a root in f, we have to look for some extension of this in which this has a root. That is what we intended to prove in this part. So f of x, because this is a polynomial ring, it is also a unique factorization domain. This is the previous results. This is from one of the previous results. So uh, you can go and look if you do not remember it. So we are saying this polynomial ring, this is a unique factorization domain. Therefore, we can reduce this to some irreducible polynomial. So we can factor this into the product of various irreducible polynomials. So let us assume its factorization, say f of x, is equal to some p of x into p1 of x and so on. So there are in finitely many such factors. So let us assume that this px, one of the factor here is irreducible factor. We can do that, no problem in this. So when we have a ir a irreducible factor of this polynomial, non-constant polynomial in f of x, then this polynomial, irreducible polynomial p of x would uh, create the maximal ideal and when you divide that by the given polynomial ring you'll get e as the extension field of f in which px has a root why this is so Be because of this earlier theorem that we have proved that for any irreducible polynomial we have an extension in which that irreducible polynomial has a root now in this case we have uh, uh, we have uh, lowered ourselves fr fr from this fx to px and we uh, are saying that for this irreducible polynomial there is an extension of f in which this polynomial px has a root. If px has a root that means when you substitute that root into px you will get 0 so fx would also be 0. So this fx also has a root in that same extension for that same value of px. So the we are done with the proof. So this was the very simple proof which states that for any non-constant polynomial we have an extension in which there is a root for that particular polynomial. Well that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.